Welcome to FCPS All-Stars. Our guest for today is Rachel Reinhardt, special education teacher at Kemptown Elementary School. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you. I'm very glad to have you with us today. It's an honor to be here. Rachel, what do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, my family and I have a lot of activities and enjoy being outdoors. So we love hiking, we love camping, and we're somewhat new to the Frederick area. So just exploring downtown Frederick and this area has been a lot of fun. Okay, and you said we, so who's your significant other? <laughs> His name is Nick. Okay. And how did you and Nick meet? We kind of have a funny story. Um, I knew Nick for a very long time before we started dating. Okay. Um, I went to an all-girls high school outside of Baltimore and he went to the all-boys school. And freshman year, right off the bat, I became very good friends with a, a close-knit group of girls. One of them was Danielle. And Danielle okay. and I were best friends all through high school, continued to be best friends. but. Nick is Danielle's brother. Oh, okay. So I knew Nick and I knew their family for a very long time um, before he and I kind of got together. And um, it was actually post-college when Danielle got married. She got married the summer after we graduated and mm -hmm. Nick and I were both back in town for the wedding and all of those festivities. And we just reconnected and had a really great time and started dating that summer. So you were at one of your best friend's wedding. Yes, we were both in the wedding. <laughs> oh, and he was in the wedding too? He, yes, he was okay. in the wedding too. So I know that a lot of guys have a big problem <laughs> when their friends try to date their sister. How was Danielle when you started dating her brother? Well, it's funny. Um, Danielle got married and then she went on her honeymoon. And when she got back, Nick called her and asked if he could take me out on a date. And Danielle's response was, I think that's the best decision you've ever made. So <laughs> she was very, very excited about the possibility. And um, it was just such a natural process because, you know, the Reinhardt family felt like my family for so long. And, you know, they're also very close with my family. So kind of a neat story. And we, we dated that summer and got married or got engaged the following summer. And that's so sweet that he asked his sister. I know. He did ask permission. Oh, well, that's first. nice. <laughs> That's, that's kind of let you off the hook, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, did you grow up in the Frederick area? I did not. So I grew up outside of Baltimore and uh, went to school at St. Joseph's University in Philly. Okay. And then when I graduated, Nick was living out in the Arlington area. So I moved out there and got an apartment and taught in Fairfax County for a few years. So we were outside of D.C. for a few years as well. So you went to school out of state. <laughs> you've lived different places. No. How did you end up in Frederick, Maryland? That's also a funny story. Um, we both loved living outside of a city for so long. It was gave us so many things to do. Mm -hmm. But when it came time to figuring out where we wanted to buy a house and start a family, we really were trying to think about where's a, a place we could find a slower pace of life and really be outdoors and enjoy those hobbies that we enjoy. Um, and Nick really wanted to move to Colorado or Vermont, which are both beautiful places to move, but they're, pretty they're far. very far from family, so I was a little bit more hesitant. And then one day he just came home and said, how about Frederick? And, you know, we grew up not too far from Frederick, but it really wasn't an area we were familiar with. So we came out and just drove around and fell in love with the access to outdoors and the downtown Frederick area. The and mountains. so we, yeah, so we immediately knew that this was a place we wanted to, to be and moving and buying a house seemed like it was a few years out, but we ended up buying a house just a couple months later and moved out here before we even had jobs out here. So we loved Frederick that much. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. And you mentioned that this was a good place to raise a family. Mm -hmm. So what special event occurred? <laughs> what is it, March of 2015? Yeah, St. Patrick's Day. So this past St. Patrick's Day, um, we had Jack and Jack's our first little baby and he's 14 months now, so he's at such a fun age, running around everywhere and has just such a personality. So we've loved the journey of parenthood and he's lots of fun, so. Did you start off like a lot of couples and have maybe some four-legged family members around we did. before you had kids? So we have two dogs, Colby and Bree. They're both Border Collies. We got one Border Collie when we were living out in Virginia and got another when we moved out to Frederick. They're such fun, active, energetic dogs, so it really kind of fit our personalities. Um, and you can probably gather from the names that I love cheese. So that's 
cow. Okay. That's how Colby and Brie got their names. <laughs> well, I was going to say that does sound kind of cheesy to me it being does. from Wisconsin. It's, it is pretty cheesy. <laughs> but then your son's name is Jack. So you have Colby, Jack, and Brie. Yes. And mm -hmm. we have always loved the name Jack. And believe it or not, Jack was not related to the cheese theme by any mean, but of by any means. But of course, family were quick to point out that Colby and Jack go very closely together. So. <laughs> so speaking of patterns, you had a baby on St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. and I heard that something fresh is coming yes. Thanksgiving Day this year. Yes, yeah, so we could potentially have another holiday baby. I'm due <laughs> Thanksgiving of this year, so we're super excited about baby number two on the way. So what other activities do you enjoy in your spare time? Um, I really enjoy cooking. I've been very blessed to have two grandmothers who love to cook and who have taught me many things about cooking. One of my grandmothers, my nani, she's Italian. She lives in Pittsburgh, and okay. um, I've really come to learn how to make her authentic Italian recipes and kind of keep that tradition alive in my family. That sounds wonderful. So yeah. what sort of things do you make from scratch? All sorts of things. She's taught me how to make her sauce and her meatballs and all sorts of pasta, as well as some of the Italian cookies that she knows how to make. How do you incorporate your love for cooking and your Italian heritage and spending time with your nani mm -hmm. with your students? Well, because that's such an important part of my life and it's something that's outside of work, I've really enjoyed getting to know my students and getting to know their hobbies and the things mm -hmm. that they are, are invested in with their family. So I, I enjoy showing them pictures and sharing with them some of the things that my family and I do and kind of connecting with them on the various traditions that they bring to the table as well. So what's your favorite Nani's recipe? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, I would say just her spaghetti. It's something that, you know, I've, I've grown up with and um, just tastes so different than spaghetti you can find anywhere else. So that's, that's, it's a very traditional dish, but it's also the best. Are you going to write down recipes? Because <laughs> if your grandmother's anything like my grandmother, oh, yeah. grandmother we, they do a little of this, a little mm -hmm. of that, and yeah. you got to kind of figure it out. People have asked for recipes before, and I don't have recipes written down. I've truly learned just from watching my nani cook, because for the same reason, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and not your formalized recipe. So I told them I'd be happy to share by, by showing them. Rachel, thank you so much for joining thank us today. You. And thank you for joining us as well. I can't wait for our next episode. And in the meantime, shine on.